Hi, I am Dr. Anand Padmanabha, Senior Consultant uh, Internal Medicine, Protis Hospital, Nagarbhavi. So just to give a small, uh, just regarding the vaccines, uh, the adult, being a physician, the adult vaccination has been a neglected topic. Uh, it's always been the vaccines which is uh, recommended to the children. Everyone knows that it is the vaccines for children only. But there is some, with the evolution, there are so many diseases which is occurring in adults also. And we have been had many vaccines for adults also to prevent uh, some communicable uh, diseases. As such, it is becoming more prominent nowadays as we have seen in the COVID also. So they, to name a few, there are many uh, diseases wherein there are many vaccines available. It could be a dengue, meningitis, chickenpox, uh, pneumococcal influenza, COVID of course, and influenza also, as we were talking. And uh, the hot topic nowadays is uh, the vaccine which is available for the newer diseases also, like malaria. So, dengue and malaria are very much endemic in India and much more than that in Africa also. So, when we talk about uh, the seasonal variations in uh, uh, dis communicable diseases like malaria and uh, dengue, it is a high health burden to public in terms of uh, loss of pay, loss of uh, duty hours, loss of economy and productive life as such. So it has been imperative for many people to you know like uh, find vaccines for uh, these two and of course as I said uh, just when we talk about this uh, malaria uh, the a strategic advisory group of uh, experts on immunization from the WHO. They have approved uh, two vaccines. One is in 2021, which is called RTS Yes, and the another one uh, lay off late R21 vaccine. So these two vaccines are very efficacious. Almost they can prevent the malaria occurrence almost to 60 to 75 percent. Also, it's been already uh, deployed in. Uh, uh, African countries, almost 28 countries of the Africa and uh, all it has cross stage 3 studies also. I mean, I think it would be available in this year 2024 for the public use uh, at large also. It should be taken 3 doses and 1 vaccine of a booster after 6 months which actually gives a long term efficacy also. If it reduces almost 60 to 75 percent, it's actually a great achievement because the burden ha almost half a million of people die with uh, malaria in the African countries which would be a huge benefit. Now when we talk about the dengue, we have four zero, var uh, zero variants in dengue. So because of the change in antigens and sub-variants, we could not be able to have the vaccines uh, till now. And of course a stabilized to somewhat efficacy vaccine has come for uh, uh, dengue also. It is prepared by Takeda which is called TAK003. So, uh, of course, it is not yet available to the general public in uh, India as such regarding the dengue. Now, if you come to the meningitis, it is already there, it is given in the children. And as I was talking about uh, menin this dengue fever and malaria vaccine, dengue and malaria, majority it is nowadays, I mean, off late recommended to uh, children as such. It has not been too much tested in adults because it is not going uh, causing too much of a problem in adult population in terms of uh, morbidity and uh, mortalities. Now the chickenpox vaccine is uh, already available since long so which is varicella vaccine and it can be given to everyone specifically who are traveling abroad. The other things are pneumococcal and influenza. We would recommend pneumococcal and influenza vaccine to the people who are uh, uh, more than uh, 65 years or less than 65 who have comorbidities like you know diabetes, hypertension, chronic heart disease, chronic kidney disease, liver failures or who are on chemotherapy. Best to get it vaccinated earlier. Uh, influenza we you know like uh, give every year but for pneumococcal uh, one dose in every five years or for few people for a lifetime one dose is enough and of course COVID as you know well aware we have given uh, two shots and a booster dose uh, such as the vaccination schedule what I you know recommend is do not uh, neglect vaccination in the adults also please uh, go and check with your doctor for a complete uh, uh, information regarding the adult vaccination thank you never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon.